Well, good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, and I hope that your weekend is off to a great start. That you were able to spend some time with family last night, and and uh, maybe you got up this morning, and you're going to have some extra time in God's Word. Something that's really important for us to recognize is that when we when we can get those extra moments, oh, it just makes such a big difference. We're in Psalm 112 uh, this morning. I'm going to read the whole psalm because I think it's it's important for us to recognize there are some obvious signs. Uh, when someone really knows the Lord. And so Psalm 112, I believe, kind of kind of captures that. And so let me just read it to you, and you'll just notice as we go. I'll, I'll maybe comment as we go. Uh, but uh, notice uh, St- Psalm 112, starting with verse number one, it says, Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed uh, shall be mighty upon the earth, the generations of the upright shall be blessed. Um, it says here in verse number three, wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endure, endureth forever. Unto the upright uh, there ariseth light in the darkness and his grace, uh, he is gracious, listen to this, and full of compassion and righteous. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide uh, his affairs with discretion. Surely he, uh, he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in the everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until, until he see his desire upon his enemies. He hath uh, dispersed he hath given to the poor, his righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Just so, so many statements about how, uh, how, the, how stable the person who walks with the Lord is, how much they fear the Lord, but they don't fear what's going on uh, in the world around them. Uh, they, they have righteousness that kind of flows out. Compassion naturally flows. As we were studying through the book of Acts, remember, we kept talking about the fact that, that compassion is the natural product of spirit-filled living. Uh, they disperse abroad. They don't keep everything for themselves. They're actually looking to see how they can benefit others. Uh, they're not only interested in their own things because their life gives light in dark places for those around them. And so really what we have to understand is, is that when God is truly in charge of our lives, when God is really uh, the master of our soul and our in our uh, being, uh, he's the one that, that makes everything happen for us. When we really believe that and we live like that, it shows, it becomes obvious to those around us that, that God really is our God, that we really trust in the Lord. Uh, unfortunately, many people say they trust in the Lord, but then they trust in their own intellect, they trust in their own, uh, their own thinking, their own ways. Uh, they tell God that your ways are not as good as my ways. And that really is something we learn in men's ministry, that that's basically what sin is. It's when we determine that our thinking is better than God's thinking. And we tell God, you're not God, I am. And so it's really obvious in Psalm 112 that this person that's being spoken of here truly loves the Lord and has the Lord lead their lives. And it shows. It's obvious to those around them. And so I want to encourage you. Really look over your life. It's, it's, it, these kinds of evaluations are not meant to be critical. They're meant to be helpful. And so think through your life and say, okay, where do I need to grow? What could be better? How can I do this a little better for the Lord? And then ask the Lord to fill you with his spirit so that you can go out and do those things. And I hope that's a help to you today. Enjoy a great weekend.